go back, baby faces. Victor Villa here. As he's making way to the rig. Old school. Pretty chubby flaco. Dímelo, mi gente. It's me, JP Savage. Oh, dímelo, mi gente. What's good? What's good? How we doing? How we living? Oh, we living lovely. Lovely, lovely. Lovely. Mischief. Sad to be here without Miss you. Mischief, you Listen, We are you living heard? lovely. In 2019, as we conclude this beautiful summer, oh. we have one of our patrons exploring Europe, and we are in an era where it's a beautiful time to be a wrestling on fan. On tour, baby, on tour. A wrestling fan in today's era is nothing better right now. You know what oh, I'm talking about. Oh, what a time. About. You know what I'm talking alive. about. You know what the about, fuck I'm talking you're about. talking about October already? Because it's getting kind of... It's getting kind I'm of not different. even talking about October no, no more. No? September. Let's run these motherfucking ropes. Oh. Uh-huh. Let's run them. Oh, couldn't you? <laughs> Damn, I thought I heard Earl real quick. I'm saying, though. So, what's good? What's, what's, what's on deck? What, what are we talking here, yo? AEW's getting, making some noise now? You know How what? How far along are we on this on this incredible movement or incredible war? Well, before AEW, um, it seems like it's official. NXT is coming to USA. That's right. On Wednesday right. night, starting September 18th. We're here talking about AEW. AEW. And we forgot about the E. Practice. Able to make some moves. Because you know what? We've talked about them going on FS1. That was the, the rumor. Mm-hmm. That was what the sources were saying, right? And they come and give us the reach around and give us fucking NXT on USA. So for two weeks. Two hours. Two, two hours. That's a smackdown. Dos horas, señores so for, so for two weeks in September, those last two weeks of September, we're going to have Raw, Football. SmackDown, and NXT on USA. <laughs> Yo, thank God we made the move. Back down to one back block. To back. Wow. We, went to, we Thursday nights now, baby, because we like got to cover Drake. that. USA's loving that the war, right baby. Now. Loving wow. it. It's going to be something. It's going to be something special, man. And you know, they're going to move it to USA two hours. I mean, the reports say that. you go about to see some shit that you've never seen before. And, well, and that's what I'm wondering. Like, wh- how did the network restrict them, right? Well, like, like, are, are we going to see the same shit we see on Raw and SmackDown, which would be a downfall? Well, I mean, I think that was the reason they kept it to an hour, right? So that was easier to digest. Mm, and, mm. and you're talking about this was, I, at that point, it was a developmental system. So it wasn't like you could have guys out there going for like two hours. I got you. I got you. That's just true. Well, I'll tell you who can go out there for two hours. Trish Stratus. Woo! Yo. Little woo. I mean, you know, she, she gave a shout out message to Charlotte. You know, she claims she's patch- passing the torch. How y'all feel about that? How y'all feel about that, y'all? She has it. I mean, I feel great about that. I feel that's, that's <laughs> amazing. Yeah, to that. <laughs> from, from one blonde to another. Yeah, why not? We know how much eh. Vince loves his blonde. That's disrespectful. Hey. That's Mr. disrespectful. Fell, you dropped Woo. Mr. Fell. Woo. Oh, man. He took another bad bump. Uh, <laughs> uh, Stupid idiot. Uh, to even con- consider Trish Stratus passing the torch to Charlotte. I mean, Charlotte's performer she never was, right? Yeah, I but mean, it's a legend in the business, right? In the in era we all grew up and loved. I'll, I'll say Trish is hotter than Charlotte, though. Ooh, Even I now. heard I heard a rumor. I wonder what Andrade thinks. Yeah, <laughs> I think he's very smart. Very smart. <laughs> nah, I think I think I think that it it means less because I heard rumors that now maybe Charlotte's gonna uh not Charlotte Trish might work with Bailey now next. Uh. So I, I might if, well, if, if that happens, you know that just takes that. down the you know. Shout out to Rick Shea. Oh, man. <laughs> Absolutely nobody. nobody. But I feel like if that happens, if she starts working with all the other divas now, I mean women wrestlers. Um, but like, is is that what we're saying? This is how bad it's gotten that Trish Stratus needs to come back to get a a, 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 a top of pop to get somebody so how, over how, like that. What do we that? do? Cause yo, the women's revolution was hot. These women were doing some things. Why do we feel need to resort to this now? Hey, I mean, it's a ratings grab, right? Aren't you excited about Definitely the uh, the grab. next women's evolution? I- I'm excited. The I'm just disappointed. February 31st? <laughs> <laughs> and that's just... Nah, funny. they should do it. They should do one now that they got Becky and um, Sasha hot, red hot now. Absolutely. JP, they can sell you, that shit out. You can move in a little too. Don't, don't be too far away, JP. I'm in here. Here you go. Okay. You know who else is in this motherfucker, yo? Tony Schiavone. Oh. 
Tony Shivano. Legendary voices. Tony, Tony the voice of WCW. Tony, oh Tony Shivani's coming back to TNT, guys. Oh, oh my god. Signing with AW. Yo, is this a fucking time machine? Yo. Hey, hey, wait a second. He's working with some guy named Jim Ross. But but isn't he in uh MLW? Ooh. Yo. Wonder what Jim Corner has to say about that shit. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Court didn't even know it was going down until it, was, it happened. I mean, right. like, I, feel like, I feel like AEW's Double been mail. doing that lately, frequently. I will say, though, we want to talk about some wars, some promotional wars. This is how you take it back. We're about to hear Jim Ross and Tony Schiavone Jesus. on AEW. People are underestimating Woo. the time. Jesus. That Wednesday we are night right now. wars. This is big. Wait, this wait, wait. Is big. Yo, so, call it sports, sports call it performance art, whatever the fuck you want. I just want it. Give so me what I want. Hey. Give me what I want. Okay, Batista. Give me what I want. Give me that check, too. So, <laughs> so, so if the E is the E and AEW is WCW, does that mean MLW is ECW because everyone keeps on stealing their talent? Well, you know what? I'm okay with that. The Yo, park, uh, LA Park went in the other fuck night. Fuck the rules, <laughs> right? Fuck the rules, right? Yo. This, this shit jumps off of NXT and AEW on Wednesday nights. It starts fucking interfering with MLW. Now MLW starts getting upset. Like, oh, wait. Why are you giving NXT all the attention? Let's start taking shots, too. Yeah, like, yo, yeah. interpromotional work's already ha- being had with yeah, yeah. MLW and AEW. Like, come on, man. Mm-hmm. It's, this it's is, this is it's gold. Just, it's gold right now. This is the best time to get re-involved and re-revisit wrestling though, to all those former fans. And as Quackenbush this told is, us, man, yo, at the end of the day, there's something out there for everybody when it comes to professional wrestling. Absolutely. You just got to find it. There's Facts. so much wrestling, and whatever you into, you can find it. And there's a beautiful blend occurring right Enjoy now. Joey Ryan. Oh, my. Shout out to that dick flick. Hey. Wow. Wow. Hey, wait. Just I like I do to your mom. Quack is going <laughs> after Janela. <sighs> this is what I saw recently. But it's not around here. It's in Oklahoma, Bro. right? Yeah. I think I saw it was in Oklahoma. But big up to local guys trying to make I mean, it big, man. Yo, quack. Just just give him a you know, couple packs of white claw and you'll be alright, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so what's Vince have to say about all this, man? What what about George Zanella? Well, no, nah, he got shit to say about George <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he don't. <laughs> I'm sure he don't. Uh, uh more about one big one eighty two, if anything. Oh <laughs> But um yeah, NXT, yo. Going to USA, what's up? Well, how does he feel? Cause I don't know. He's got to be feel some certain type of way now. So Vince is pretty much saying that the move to USA Network provides an opportunity to deepen their relationship with uh, N- NBC Universal and further build the NXT brand. Over the long term, their goal is to develop a following that can be monetized to the same level as the flagship programs, Raw and SmackDown. It's like you were reading off of something. There. Something like that. Yo, um, I can see, yo, Vince wants a fucking ride in Universal. He wants a wrestling roller coaster <laughs> at Universal, bro. That's what the fuck you want. He's going to call it the Hulkamania? Bro, I don't ben, know, Vince man. McMahon is the new Walt Disney. Yo. Yo. Like, yeah. yeah. Creating Universal. Wow. I mean, for me, it screams that he just wants to make sure that money is still coming in while he pays attention to his new toy. <laughs> so he cares now. To huh? his new toy. He cares right? now. He's like, listen, I got nothing to lose at this point. He got a, he got a shiny new toy to play with right now. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, you know what I'm talking about. And it's the, and the it's NXT, not NXT. <laughs> no, and the, and NXT, you too. Yes, <laughs> but I me, mean, he's always had that to play with. <laughs> he's always had that just shining there. Yeah. But now he's focused on something else. Now he wants the XFL. The XFL. Yeah. Baby. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Mandy Rose. Oh, it's a Ruya. It's a Ruya. Shout out to Corey. I was like, isn't that Corey Graves? No, Ooh, I think I isn't think. it. No, that's her that's Carmella. Partner? That's Carmella. Carmella's. I think both fighting some shit like that. I think Sony got some shit to say about that. But what y'all got to say about this motherfucking XFL, y'all? The logos? So the logos were uh, released yesterday. The so logos. What do you oh, well, no. got? The I'm logos. Do that again? The logos, the names, and the opening video for each of the teams. Well, by the time you hear this, okay. it'll be two days. Two days ago. Uh, is that what we're doing again? New York, New Jersey again? No, no. It's, it's a lot of different. Teams. No, no, no. It's it's. You got so let's oh, talk about it. You got the St. Louis Ball Hawk, Battle Hawks. Battle oh, okay. Hawks. Right, and that's pretty cool because talking about Hawks, but at the same time, it, it's relating to a, a troop, right? In the military, that a part of a particular war. Stupid idiot. Uh, <laughs> then you have t- the Tampa Bay Vipers. I didn't realize there were so many fucking Vipers uh, in Tampa Bay. But I'll find out in April. I thought Randy lived in St. Louis. <laughs> oh, you know who doesn't live in St. Louis? The New York Guardians. Oh. Hey, yo. It they was weird. New Jersey. It was weird, though, because... Yeah, because they're going to play in MetLife. Yeah, of course. So, But it was weird to me because 
in the video they call them the Guardians, but all they were showing was gargoyles. So my man, in my mind, I'm like, why don't you just call them the New York gargoyles? So you not gargoyle? You know what I'm saying? Hey. Like, Kimiko, I got some shit to say about that. Then we got the <laughs> Seattle Dragons, which honestly is probably the best name, especially after Game of Thrones. You know what I'm saying? Do they have Seahawk colors? Ah, uh, I, I don't think so. They're different. I mean, they wouldn't do that. They're not stupid. <laughs> then you have the Los Angeles Wildcats. The, the, I don't know. I'm sorry, but the only thing I could fucking think of when I saw that was Goldie Hawn and the movie Wildcats. <laughs> 1986, Holla. Well, she's a, a high school football born. coach. Mm-hmm. Me too. Uh, let's see. The DC Defenders. They sound like a Trojan company. Hey. hey. They defend well. And then uh, you have the Houston Roughnecks. This one is a little... Uh, and it was one of it's the one of the most popular ones, and they show actually uh, oil uh, oil riggers. <laughs> That's the con- cop- the whole c- concept of it. Yeah, that was so tired of money. Fuck. Hey, and then I forgot about the Dallas. Uh, the uh, Dallas Renegades. Renegades. Yeah. How y'all feel about these names, yo? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Shout out to War Horse. Shout out to the War Horse. I expect the War Horse to be one of the names, and um, I, I was very upset I'm very that it was upset not. At that too. Yeah. We will we will start the petition tomorrow. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that this uh this is reconfigured. How we feel about the names, yo? Which is your favorite? Uh not the New York anything. Not the New York anything. There's only I'm one looking at them now. I like the logo. I hope the colors are the same: gray, black, and red. I will, I will say, yo, the video packages were pretty good. Yeah. The video packages were actually pretty good. Well, I mean, you know, think about so it. it looks He's like had a, years of e production. This is what I'm saying. It looked like an e production. I want to win some games though, though. Like I want, I want like. This New York Guardians team to be the best team in but football are, history. But are you gonna support Ever. them though? Yeah. Are I'm you gonna, gonna go I'm to gonna the game? I'm gonna buy one jersey and I'm gonna go to one game. Yo. One game. That's, that's it. The first, that's the one chance y'all get. Yo, I'm gonna go get that if, Walmart if, jersey. If you have a lot. You got a lot of work to do to convince me. So now like, my question is, like on the WWE Network, is there gonna be another oh, like a, a, another column to like purchase X, XFL shit? Well, not tomorrow. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, aren't they doing the tier system eventually? Uh, they must. They have so. to. So they have to. But best of luck to Vinnie Mac. And if this promotes, you know, him letting Triple H rock, I'm with it, yo. And, but you know what I'm not with, yo? NXT, I mean, fucking WWE trying to take our jobs. What the <laughs> fuck? What the fuck? This is what we're here for. This is what, the people want to tune into this. Put us on your fucking program. For, for real. For real. Like, like, yo. First yo, of all, your people can't it. bury themselves. We already <laughs> want Sammy's. <slimies. laughs> Listen, Vince, I'll wash your car vibe, so I'll leave Vince. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, PFC. You suck. You suck. <laughs> Current angle, baby. But see, they're about to start their own podcast show, right? Gonna, I think Good they luck. Us to have talent. Good luck. Uh, to, to actually work the product. Which, yo, it could be exciting. I can see many of the wrestlers kind of who already have a product, right? But many of the wrestlers being very charismatic enough to be able to be entertaining. Yeah, you know I mean, some of my favorite podcasts we are that, professional wrestlers. Did, did we right? send out that season this yet? <laughs> you know who, uh, who's the first name they've dropped, right? Oh, I haven't heard the name. The Bellas. The Bellas. And that's how you're going to do us first? Okay. You're going to throw that in our I face? See, like, yeah, that could um, work, though, especially God. with the, the, the female cl- um, 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 demographic. I so think that's that could work. Yo, to Total work? Bellas is a hit. Total yeah. Divas is a hit. Base hit. It's a, but it's a hit. Damn. It's a hit. That What's shit. the name of the company? Yo, the fact that the Miz Radio? and the Mrs. is a thing is because all of the Total Divas is what the Miz and the Mrs. Uh, did in Total Divas. Facts. So, all that shit sells. That's money. Uh, that could work. And the Bellas are popular. They're pop culture relevant, right? That's why. Tune in for the Bellas interview coming soon. I found it in- interesting, though, that HBC they are they're partnering with Endeavor Streaming. So, so they can future them. So for me, I'm like, I, I think it's not just going to be the wrestlers on their own. There's going to be probably a, a co-host with them. Like somebody that could has experience can generate the conversation. Similar to like the, the I'm sorry, the Mike Tyson podcast, the Hot Box. Oh, uh, shout out to the Hot Box. Shout out to the Hot Box. Uh, his uh, co-host, right? He's a, you can tell he, he navigates the show. And then uh, Mike Tyson just drops the gems, right? So I can see something like that working very effectively. And I mean, they have access to everybody for interviews, right? Right. Who, who's God. not going to want to go on a WWE here we go. podcast interview? This is going to be. So, you hear it here, folks, fans. Uh, please email. Send a couple uh, emails to Bristol. Uh, Check in let on him us. know that, you know, he was pops and chair shots are here, willing and able, <laughs> ready, ready to, to, to consult, right? right. Just on the consultation the uh, purposes. We'll send be there out, for you. Send us out there to Stanford. Come Let's on. Let's do it. Come on, baby fish. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of that. Let's get raw, though, guys. Ah.
as you say. <laughs> Le <laughs> Lo fuego! Lo cuero! Yeah. <laughs> so, so we got That's this. how I feel about that beginning. Like, what we mad at, yo? What we mad at first? Oh, All right. So, so first and foremost, let's introduce Raw and the anticipation for this week the way it deserves to be mentioned, right? The beginning of the King of the Ring tournament. Right. Mm -hmm. Amazing bracket, right? From top to bottom, some, some, some opportunities to push new talent, uh, opportunities for that talent that's been... Uh, you know, forgotten. How you, you feel about Cesaro's Joe? <laughs> <laughs> damn, oh, man, that opening. Oh, All right, fine. Right. The match, the match. How you feel about the I match? I mean, damn. I was trying to open to that bitch. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you don't shoot a horse was in a, in a full sprint. You get Come me on, so anxious, now. you know, with that, God with all damn. that talk. Damn, hey man, drink some fucking <laughs> scotch. Cause that's what I needed after that. Some more Joe Cesaro match. Hey. Yo, yo, first of all, since when has Cesaro had braces, yo? Yo, yeah, the promo, the opening yeah, promo to the match. Yeah. I didn't realize he had braces. I'm like, no wonder he has the fucking mouthpiece. <laughs> it was, it's not a good look, yo. Keep the mouthpiece on. It never was the same after that turnbuckle. No, oh, that's that's true. I forgot yeah, about that. I forgot about that. But, uh, yo, what you think about the match? Great match, I'm man. Point. Amazing. Yo, that, sh that shit was a hard-hitting matchup. I kind of kind of wanted to see Cesaro, Zayn, Revisit that old rivalry, but nah, Joe you'll Cesaro was. Just you'll see that on uh, on NXT on USA. <laughs> Ooh, come come this fall on Wednesday. I can see that. I can see that. They'll revisit that. I hope I can so. See that. Um, yo, don't match. Uh, two guys that could go in the ring, very physical match, right? Uh, it didn't bury Cesaro. It didn't. Uh, yo, he jumped off right gimmick. at the gate. With I feel like a, his gimmick is burying him right now. Who Cesaro's? Yeah, the opening music. Well, I, I don't. I don't, I don't understand. think they're doing anything think, with him. I think he's just like a push, a bring up. Like he's bringing up people. I, then when that's un, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Why don't Why don't they go back to that James Bond character? That, that shit worked. That shit was Th dope. That shit stopped working when you joined him with Sheamus. That's when that stopped working. Yeah, when the bar. But came it was out. good. I mean, I could do without the rip off suit and shit, right? But, but that all the shit injuries good. caught up to him. He didn't ever got a chance to rock with that shit. It's fully. crazy, crazy. But um, uh, for, uh, great first match to open up the whole fucking thing. I will say that. Match of the night? Uh, I don't know if it's match of the night because you had a couple other matches. A couple <laughs> other matches. But definitely top, top match. Because you're not for nothing. Dolph Ziggler versus Roman Reigns match was pretty good too. That okay. shit was dope, yeah. The opening shit was eh. Because once again, Dolph, Dolph Ziggler, what are we doing? What's the oh angle? What's the gimmick? God. It's lost in translation. Bill, Mur they Bill Murray the fuck out of that shit, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Have we talked about Dolph yet? Or the rumor with Dolph? What's the rumor with Dolph? The rumor was that he um, he actually had requested or he had a soft agreement, handshake agreement that uh, that he was going to leave the E after after he did the job to Goldberg, and apparently Vince came up to him and said, "Nah, you're sticking around. We'd rather pay you." Wow! Really? Wow! Wow! And he took it. So I mean, that means he, 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 he didn't let him breathe. There, he didn't let him break the contract. There's no way he can get out the contract. So. Vince has to agree to it, so it's like. He's fucked. Good luck with that, wow, boy. Wow, modern ass. day shit. <laughs> yo, modern day shit. And uh, no, unfortunately, the problem is, in the way they're using him, like, it's, it's useless. Like, give him, give him some rele rele uh, relevant like storylines and shit. Give him an angle that works. This shit is confusing. He sounds okay. like a whiner. He's just whining, right? But, you know who else is whining? Elias? The OC. Oh. They lost their fucking straps, yo. I'm whining. So AJ Styles and Braun Strowman. They had to though. They oh, really Seth had Seth Rollins, to? Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman. They had to yeah, lose that's it. That's why though? I wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? AJ Styles. Yeah, you said AJ Styles. Yeah, because it should have been AJ Styles. <laughs> Fuck Seth Rollins and his engaged ass. <laughs> Congratulations to <laughs> oh, Seth Rollins oh. and Becky Lynch uh, on their engagement today. Yo, Thursday. speaking about Thursday, it. Thursday, Thursday. Speaking about Becky it. Lynch, the man, it Seth Rollins. Sense. Speaking of the woman, man. <laughs> we, we got engaged. We got to we got we got to congratulate the great one, The Rock. Oh, got The Rock got married. That's got married right. This past Yo. weekend. Oh, who smelled that? He hobbed somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, now nah, congratulations to his uh, baby mother. Right, mm. I think he has two children with her. Two children. Uh, beautiful couple, man. Congratulations. Congratulations. To congratulations to The Rock, man. The Yo, The Rock living his best one. fucking life. Yeah. So. Honestly, man, like. And, and what we keep hearing time and time again is that he's just a, a wonderful person. Say my name, Papa Dio. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I'd, I'd vote for him for president. Hey, <laughs> get it done. That get it done. So, uh, so yeah. So, uh, it seems that, though, uh, Nick, Nicky, uh, Nicholas got grew up. 
He had puberty. <laughs> finally, oh, right? shit. He Took grew up and while. became fucking Seth Rollins, yo. Uh, shout terrible, out to Donnie. Terrible, terrible, terrible. One of my students made that joke. Uh, <laughs> so, what, so what do you guys think is the best segment for Raw? Uh, the best segment. Definitely the women's tag match. I'll say the King, King's Court. <laughs> King's Court. Court. What happened on King's, King's Court? Court? Oh, uh, yeah, Sasha, Sasha Banks was Ray supposed to come out and uh, yeah. missed her. <laughs> so, so it's interesting because I thought at first uh, they brought the King back because King of the Ring, right? Right, I thought right, it was, right. It was a seamless. And mind you, he was performing this week too. Yeah. Uh, outdoors in, uh, it was in City Field. Yeah, I think so. He was actually wrestling. That's uh, I saw some, some, some clips on that, but when the fucking Fiend came out, and the way he was running his Versace, Versace shirt. Versace, Versace, Versace. <laughs> I'm like, yo, he's just look asking for another heart attack, yo. He's then, just asking for it. And then the fiend <laughs> caught up to him, gave him the man of a clock. Yo, but, but, but it was a little erotic. <laughs> was it a little erotic the way he was just snuggled behind him, yo? Yeah. I felt worried for the king. There's a few memes that came out this week on that, too. I, I, I felt uh, worried for the king, yo. Check that out on HPC 2 Brought him back to those days of with that comedian he was to fuck around with. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, Kaufman. Hey, Andy Kaufman. Andy Kaufman. Fucking back to the Andy Kaufman days. What happened shit. to Andy Kaufman? Samudia! Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Jim Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> he is a fan. So what else, yo? Yo, what y'all think about that Sami Zayn and uh, Cedric Alexander match? It was good, man. It was it great. Was a good match. They got their match. stuff in. They got a good time, too. Who went over? Um, I think Alexander went over, <laughs> unfortunately. No, that's who we thought it was nah, going to be. That's nah, what we thought it was going to be. Cedric, Cedric's on point. He's a I just would love to see Sami Zayn win that shit, too, but... Yeah, I can see him. He would have done some work with that, especially his promo skills. Yeah. But it's what we got. Yeah. It's what we got. Uh, Cool. Smack Why don't we just down? smack it down? Bah, you want to smack my down? Bah, bah, bah. Ah, 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 ah. We smack it down. We smack it down Get these on things. Fox on October. I got these little things. I got them too. See? So but yeah, what's good? What happened on SmackDown, yo? A lot happened, yo. The continuation of the King of the Ring occurred, of course. So Andrade and Buddy Murphy. I mean, my oh. bad. Apollo Crews. Apollo, Apollo Crews. Crews. I wanted it to be Buddy Murphy. Absolutely not Buddy Murphy yeah. at all. But not at all. Shout out to Selena. Look at that snack. Selena. Uh, yeah. Little woo. But it wasn't that little. How y'all feeling about this uh, Shane McMahon, Kevin Owens hey, angle? I mean, the they, they making it stretch to something entertaining. I, I want mean, to they, say. They're trying. They're trying. I mean, he's connected with the crowd. Yeah. Kevin Owens is as over as a baby face as most he's ever been right now. Like I said last week, man, he saved that, that angle yeah, last he week. He did. So it's watchable. Is it, is it is it more watchable than uh, Randy Orton and Kofi? Yeah. To me, it is. I'm just tired of that. Like, I'm don't tired know. of it. He's fucking with his family now. Like, I mean, I like the little. I'm not gonna lie. I like the reunion that they did with uh, the revival. Yeah, and Randy. That yo, that that could be a nice. It little looks faction. nice. That could be a nice little faction, yo. They look. They look Ra- dope. Yo, we've talked about the revival you mean, now. You mean FTRKO? Yes. Ooh, I you like heard it that. here first. But I they're like they're that. missing their their big man. I feel like a big man's missing there. And they can get a big man. Big ass. Who I mean, would you big put? Ass. Who would you put though? Who's the big man? Big ass. If you had to pick anybody from the roster, mm. Big Daddy Cool Diesel. Damn. Who's not being utilized? Kane. Nah. Undertake. Nah. nah Come on, stop. Sit down with that bullshit. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Hmm? Also, favorites for King of the Ring, um, Ali, Buddy Murphy. For SmackDown, I definitely think Ali, yo. But Buddy, Buddy Murphy with that showing against Daniel Bryan. No, I think he's definitely in turn for a push now. Were you all not impressed with that? Oh, uh, I've been impressed with that boy, man. But that's what she said. Yo, how but about EC3? What about him? Both with those four uh-huh. with Randy Orton and the Revival. Oh, to Adam. Hey, right? Where, where Stop it. Bobby Roode. <laughs> huh? Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode. Oh, Yo. shit. Bobby Roode. No, that's like a new Four Horsemen. He, start, he started out in TNA as the Canadian Enforcer. He could Bobby be the flair of that Double shit. Double R. Yo. I'd be down for that shit. Sign me the fuck up, yo. Word. All right. So, speaking fucking Buddy Murphy versus Daniel Bryan. Fucking yeah. dope match. Oh. I think so. Don't fucking match. I think for but me, match. Match of the night, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Hands down. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe match of the week. Yeah. Okay. Right? 
Uh, yeah. The Arsenal we saw Daniel Bryan pull off with Buddy Murphy. I haven't seen it. We've never seen them work together, and that's what's refreshing, man. You still have some matches that haven't been uh, highlighted as much, right? That was one of those matches, and they got an ample he, amount of time. And he got a clean win. He got a clean win. Got a clean win is important. You know what? Big up to Daniel Bryan because he's been bringing everyone up, right? Yeah. You saw him do it with Ali. You saw him do it with Kofi. Now you see him doing it with Buddy Murphy. And you know what? He doesn't look doesn't lose credibility. Nope, not at all. And everybody he's been able to do it to has gotten some sort of a push. Right. Even Ali to a certain degree. Yeah, like, he got hurt. You know he's he a locker hurt. room leader. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, no. you could. And he has the quali- the, like qualities of it. And this set him up nicely for fucking King of the Ring. Absolutely. Right, right. Like he's he's a he's a favorite. Buddy Murphy is a favorite. This is facts. So how do you guys feel about this new duo, this new pairing of uh, Sami Zayn and Nakamura? Fuck them. <laughs> That's how you're feeling. Like Fuck them. Fuck them. Feel like Nakamura's needed a translator for a while. Uh, <laughs> a great mic to have. Yeah. I mean, yo, Sami Zayn could talk his ass off, right? I'd rather see them go at it again. Do you, rematch. do you think it's going to handicap uh, Sami Zayn, though? Is it going to treat him as... It sets him back. Well, it puts well, him back. It puts I, him as I, a babysitter. Nah, you know what? I think I think we're, we're going to angle back to the time where, like, you had tag teams or tag team champions that didn't like each other, right? And it worked. Which is why you have Seth and Rollins. Uh, Seth. Well, and, uh, you Brock see, Rollins. I don't even see. I don't, no, even, well, I don't even think they should have the tag team titles. No, but that. No, that's but I'm a, saying like they could be a tag team that. that they that's really a fuck typical with WWE formula where they know that two guys that are that are in a feud together, they they put them together, they make them win the tag team belts, and next yeah, thing you know, Seth Rollins brush them. Brush them. So, it's, it's overdone. Undertaker Austin. So it's overdone. Oh God, it's overdone then. Austin and Shawn Michaels. Sorry. Yeah. Jesus, that did happen that one time. Then they had there was always that one time. Then that SummerSlam match. Don't you forget the SummerSlam. Yeah. No nice things have happened. That's what happened that one time. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah. What was the worst segment, y'all? I'm kind of thinking about it. And the, <laughs> the, the, moment, the moment of Bliss wasn't too bad. But it was definitely, yeah, good. definitely the end. It wasn't definitely too Definitely the end. Either. Nah, nah. Because at least she got, Charlotte got pushed. Well, the end, yeah, the end left us at a cliffhanger. Who was it? Eric Rowan's daddy? Yo, yeah, I thought it was that actor like from Shaun of the Dead, yo. I swear to God. Shout like, out yo. to Nick Frost. Yo. No, th- it wasn't that fucking Paige's father in the movie. <laughs> that <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is, right? That's, Frost, yeah. That's what I thought it was. We know your staff, uh, bro. <laughs> well, no, wasn't WWE pushing that it was like one of the backstage workers that was driving that, that uh, forklift? So they couldn't get anybody in time. So they got the last person last minute that was working your, backstage. Your Theo didn't make the cut, bro. No. Yeah, no. but remember, we could still find out he was hired by somebody, right? That could still always be an angle. There stretches the story, right? Uh, so one of the funniest segments for me, honestly, was Chad Gable getting fucking shitted on by Shane. <laughs> you got to be this high to enter. <laughs> it's at this old locker high. room, yo. That shit was hilarious. They're saying well, that's going to be his nickname. What? They're Ch- going to have him become Shorty. Chigilin. Oh, man. He's not even that short. That's fucked up. That's I ain't got much hope. Goddamn. <laughs> short people got... I was I was called a small nerd today. That that could happen. Hey, one of my coworkers, bitch. I'm like, <laughs> it's a joke. Not I, that small, but not really. I am not. <laughs> yeah. I can disprove these myths. Um, it's a PG show. Yo, PG show. let's do something. Week, let's yo. do something we haven't been able to do in a long time, yo. And why is that? Because we've been recording on Wednesdays. That's right. What but now, yesterday? now, folks, we go live Uh-oh. on Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Well, okay, you're th- thirsty. Hey, <laughs> thirsty Thursday. So we gonna be able to cover one of the best promotions in the business, NXT, on a regular basis, folks. So let's talk about NXT, y'all, and everything Woo! that's great with NXT, and, and what's gonna be put to the forefront. It was a promise, right? It was a promise that was narrated by one of the best wrestlers. The leader of the Undisputed Era. What better way to open this up than have the, the, the Undisputed Era on top, bro? That's exciting. It's must-see TV. Must-see TV. And we all saw it, Deke. <laughs> we'll see it on USA for sure. <laughs> I mean, but unfortunately, yo, upon hearing this news, is one of the one most bland NXT tapings I've seen in a while. So me and Yim, um, trying to get recruited, I heard. Well, yeah, she went through Vanessa Bourne and then. Uh, oh, she went through her, all right. Oh. Hey. Looking wouldn't, like a snack. Wouldn't we all like to? Looking like a snack. Uh, <laughs> let me. 
<laughs> that, that, that's a bro. charge, bro. You're calling a cut a charge. <laughs> yo, <laughs> but the reality is, yo, uh, it was a better match, at least. Um, <laughs> but yes, seems like Sean, uh, Shayna, Shayna Baszler, Baszler was, trying, to was trying to pull an Undisputed Era, essentially, right? Yeah. That's what they did to Roderick, right? And I almost thought they were going to go to the angle. I mean, hey, if it worked once, it'll work again, right? Right. <laughs> Who's not to say that she's going to be the new leader of that little group? Ooh. With Shayna. I think they got a lot. They're gonna use, they're gonna use her for a lot. Well, I know who they're not they gonna, gonna use. Gonna they ain't gonna use Ronda Rousey after she severed her finger yo, this week. Yo, yo, smile. I yes, see that shit, yo. Yes, the she door she fell on the shit, and not only that, she she continued to shoot on the set of nine one one. Yes. Oh, she I know what that. To shoot. I know what that's like. Psh, I don't. Yeah, but you didn't continue. But you didn't continue the spot, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> hey, I got back up. You did. You did. Mass move too, yo. It was like nobody noticed. Nobody noticed. Yeah, so what else it? happened? Uh, Damian Priest defeated Mansoor. Yes, winner of the Greatest Royal Rumble. The Is that like Mantar's Rumble? cousin, Mansoor? Uh, I don't no. know. Yeah. He, he won the the million dollar arm, right? Yeah. Same, same cat. It's yep. a memo. He's it's had a, a memo. he's had a Disney. <laughs> he's had a Disney movie made about him. I'm getting scared yeah. working with you guys now. <laughs> oh, so there we go. Hey, remember Man. the tag team, the uh, the mighty, the yes. mighty, yeah. Me- me- remember when their guy disappeared? So me now there's either. only one of them left. He wrestled. Yes, uh, Shane Thorne. Didn't wrestled. that guy that disappeared? Didn't he go to New Japan? He, he became a member of Chaos and was a part of New Japan. Code. This is right. Uh, he, yeah, yeah so that guy. Sh- fuck him. Sh- Shane <laughs> Thorne. Shane Thorne kind of just bullied uh Brunson Reed <laughs> backstage, and it turned into a match. He's he's picked up these victories over all these uh, breakout star guys lately, right? The spoiler. Yeah. Spoiler. Spoiler. Oh. And then last we finished with uh Matt Riddle and Killian Dane. They finally got Yo. it. Yo, is it me? Sh- Killian Dane looks skinny. He lost weight. He lost weight, right? Yeah. But it, 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 it looked, I feel like it was muscular. Herbalife. More muscular. Herbalife, baby. Herbalife. Hey. <laughs> Herbalife. He on that detox, folks. I'm with that. Herbalife. Mine is the deli- It's life. Herbalife, you but, fucks. <laughs> but that, you know what I'm at. Yo, but... uh, hey, yeah. He, he was a cruiserweight at one point. He was a cruiserweight he at one point? moves like a cruiserweight. A junior heavyweight. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Killian Day. This is true. Woo. These are facts. These are facts. Uh, it was a good match. I, I just... It w- I don't know. I, it was a lackluster NXT for me. They told the story, though. They told w- the story. It's just I am still coming off the, the the takeover where there was at least one match. I was like, eh, which is the Mia Yim one. And I don't know. I think that I, was that I was like def- I feel like they're saving all the good stuff now. They're gonna, they're gonna oh, yeah, back. of course. So this could be this could be part of it. And, and it's good to mention, folks, that they're still going to air uh, NXT on Thursdays at eight. Yep. Uh, on, the on the network. Oh, they're going to replay uh, it. Just yeah. in case you don't have cable and you need to watch it some way, somehow, and you have the network, well, you'll still be able to get your Well, fix. they changed uh, the, the credit card information on the on the account. You know, you can't get the login and you got to do that and shit. You know, we know how that, we, we get it. Where, 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 where? But you know what? You can tune in now to us and we'll give you the fucking lowdown. Hey, who needs to watch Woo! me? We can tell you. That's but right. We'll yeah. save you some time, folks. I know it was paying for it, but we'll, know. we'll figure it out. Oh, we're going to figure something yeah. out. So Our friends' friends got money. Our friends' friends got money. So, um, the weekly, what's the weekly haps here, man? Who's, so let's talk about it. Who's getting the awards HPC here? The HPC of the week, the heel of the week, the pop of the week, the chair shot of the motherfucking week. Bang. So who we got? Here? Who's the heel of the week this week? And folks, just so you're informed, just so you're informed, these categories go to whoever from any promotion. It could be some shit in AAA, MLW. Evolve, ECPW, Monster Factory, Capital, our, Capital Synergy, our boys Synergy. at Synergy, who just got their Fight BBW. TV deal. Synergy, oh, congrats. congratulations. Congrats on that. We, we check it out. TV, Fight TV deal. You know we be fucking Woo. with Fight TV still since day one. Hey, That's right. And uh, make sure folks to catch us at the Forza Lucha pre-show party. Forza, we out here. Oh, baby. Forza Lucha. If we had an overlay, you'd be Saturday, it Saturday, 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 August 31st, baby. Woo! Wait, what else is That's happening on move. Saturday, August 31st? Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Yeah, all out. August Saturday, 31st. August 31st. Our right? official viewing party for AW All Elite Wrestling's All Out. And where is this viewing party? Rockefeller, Rockefeller Sports Bar. 443 Patterson Avenue. He's right yeah, bro. This is my, mean, my, 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 my man, uh, remember the address. Yo. That's how often we be having That's these what the crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, hey. come through. 
We know it's Labor Day weekend. You ain't got shit to do. Come do any shit with us. Don't watch it by yourselves. Don't Come pay on. the $60. Let, let us handle the bill. You. Come chill with us. Remember, man. folks, we are embarking on a journey of the most amazing professional wrestling, the most entertaining professional wrestling we're about to see in ages. He said that five times too fast. <laughs> Come. La Vega se pega, what? Hey, you know about that tongue, though. Se pega, uh, Come join us, folks, in the experience. Hey. The Velveteen experience. Mm. JP, I don't see you, though. <laughs> now you look like a savage. All right, so 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 what do we got as a heel of the week? So who, who's the bad guy? King and Malo. Who's the Malo? The ringleader of the Sasha? cult of Cornette. Ooh. Ooh. Que paso, que paso. So, me. What did Jimmy do now? God damn it. Well, you know, his little fan base, they're a little nuts. I mean. Ooh. A little? Uh, they probably have little nuts. Wait. Oh. <laughs> I'm a nutcracker. Listen. And he went after the nutcracker. Yeah, he did. You know who we talking about? Carlito? No. The lovely <laughs> Miss Jordan Gray. That's hey. right. With those thunder thighs. Damn, girl. Walnuts. Hey. Dick- <laughs> Where are your pants? I'm, so, I'm sorry, Jonathan Gresham. Yo, where's your wallet, bro? Hey. Hey. I carry it all in the back. <laughs> in the fanny pack. So, so she brought up she brought up how wrestling... She brought up butter, butternut squash? Is that what it is? Something like that. <laughs> uh, how wrestling should be considered an, uh, a performance art. Okay. And that, you know, sometimes when we put the sports label on it, it hinders the product. Okay. She said this in March of 2019. And one of these little no nut having spends all his day on Twitter when he's not collecting <laughs> government cheese. <laughs> ah, oh, I know that kid. Right? You Keep know? Shout out to. The, the, the name's going to drop right here, don't uh, worry. Uh, but yeah. Yo, <laughs> random as fuck. That reminds me. Uh, Taz on the show this week, right? He talked about the fact that. You remember that guy, that the bagel dude that went wild in the bagel shop? <laughs> the bagel yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. fucking knows the guy, yo. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He it's, took it's, a picture with yeah, him in the past, right? In the past, I got a green spot. And, and shit. the dude tagged him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because aren't they like the same height? Nah, nah he said. Yo, he said. <laughs> He said he felt he was like teammates with fucking uh, the warlord. <laughs> he felt like <laughs> a giant next to that. That dude's, that that dude's like 4'8". Yo, he's like 4'8", 4'7", Damn. yo. And so angry. He's an angry. <laughs> he's an angry, yo. <laughs> okay. Yo, shout out to but, Taz in his show. And shout out to SmackDown 20th anniversary where he'll be there, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, time for a water break. <laughs> yo, uh, so Jordan Grace got disrespected yeah. by Jim Cornette, yo. Yeah. He called her a butterface. What, 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 sit, sit, Joe, fucking take us on that ride. What happened? Well, like, so she she wanted it to be considered a performance art. Hey. One of his little cronies, you know, between jerking off to uh, <laughs> pictures of, of Tully Blatchard. And, and him the, falling from the... um <laughs> fall, Falling down from the, the scaffolding. Scaffold. La <laughs> Calera! <laughs> <laughs> Toma! He, he looked on Twitter and he looked on... Jordan Grace's uh, timeline and saw this this quote, and he of course tweeted out to Jim Cornette. Who, and, who, 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 and and what who? does the uh, savior of the definitely unwashed mat, uh, masses do? He uh, he called Jordan a butterface. He's like, what does this butterface cosplay Ooh. wrestler know? Wow! Damn, Jimmy, when was the last time you were part of a territory that actually made money? Oh, well, let's, 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 let's be careful. Man. I know karate, dickhead. <laughs> he does, though. <laughs> no, but, uh, yo, I, think but somebody, I, I think somebody's yo, worse, listen, though. This listen, week. at the end of the day, yo, Jim Cornette has an archaic way of thinking about the business, right? And, yo, I, I can see what, what Jordan Grace is saying, yo. Like, we get caught up in the fact of whether it's fake or not. No, it's art. Mm-hmm. They, they, they're evoking emotion, right? It, it's a, an athletic art. And it's still a sport, sure. right? Here's a beautiful analogy that MVP came up with when he did the uh, the documentary The Wrestlers on Viceland. Get him. That's a good uh, that's a good show. He said we've left the era where it was combat simulation. Okay. And now you have uh, wrestlers who are th- they're real life superheroes, right? Yeah. That's what we're seeing right now. Stuntmen and shit, right? Exactly. But it's crazy because, you know, there's still a very physical aspect to it. You have, you know, British wrestling the way it is. It's the British strong style. Strong you have style, the Japanese yeah. strong style. Like, like, yo, it, it, there's still physicality behind it. And, and even more, the intermixing of MMA into professional wrestling is occurring now today more than ever. So, 
it, it, it's an interesting time to be a fan, bro. It's an oh. interesting time. The matches you're seeing are very fucking interesting, man. Oh, a lot of man. Interesting. These, these closet fight. fans in hibernation need to come back out, bro, because no. it's, it's happening. And that's what Listen, they're trying the, to do. The Why don't you tell them? Why don't you let them know? Well, first, we'll get there. Another heel I think is better, than, worse than Cornette this uh, week, though. Oh. You had to be a motherfucker. Who? To to pick on a legend don't the talk, way like don't talk you about did. me like that. Who? Well, you, you have to be a motherfucker to like this man because you're a fan of him. Um, the fiend. Ooh. Hey, Malo. Hey, cool, cool. <laughs> that guy. Listen, that he, guy he, he, he just put it on the king. That's all. Yeah. Well, you know, it's not nice. He's a legend, bro. I Listen, mean, but he see, missed JoJo for a little bit. He needs to stuff something into a mouth. Shout out to JoJo. Wow, 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 wow. So talking about that pops of the week. <laughs> pops of the week. What do y'all think the pop of the motherfucking week was? Gosh. New tag champs on yeah. Raw? Really? Yuck. I really? wasn't popping. Really? I was popping pills after that. That's what we got? Um, I don't know. I think... Uh, that I can think of. That's the only thing that's allowed. Well, yeah, Sasha guess. attacking too. You, you know what I'll say was the pop. No, that was me? last week though. W- was that uppercut by uh, Cesaro to Joe at the opening of the match? At, at the opening, that shit. Oh, that shit was pretty I dope. popped hard. Oh, with Joe, with Joe and Cesaro. I yes. thought Joe. He started the uh, same. Ma- he started the match in, on SmackDown like that too. Who did he fight on SmackDown? Um, Cesaro. I don't know. Shout out to uh, Elias with the new theme music and shit. Coming down, right? Yeah, he has an entrance now. New entrance and whatnot is different. It's like Jesus. I don't know, man. There wasn't. Uh, I mean, it was a good week of wrestling. It wasn't a good. But week. But there wasn't a pop that I can no. think of, man. No, it wasn't identifiable. Nah. Mm. So yeah. how about that chair shot? Of Villain movie? Enterprise is retaining the triple threat tag team, <laughs> the six man tag titles, <laughs> on ROH this week. That was good for me. That was good <laughs> for me. So, so we're gonna go with that? No, I mean that's mine. All right. Well, what about chair shot of the week? Oh, easy. Um, that old fart that was re- revealed to the world. El papá de Rowan. Ese padre. Oh. Rowan's daddy. Dike, dike, el que que chocó a Roman Reigns, ¿verdad? Right. He got lost getting the guy, the guy, that, the guy that took the, the wrong left to hit the fucking truck. The right? poor civilian. And and the uh, the the face that Roman made. When he was unmasked. Yeah, that was weird too. Like somebody farted yeah, and but shit. But I see the face that the Daniel was doing. He was like, "Yo, but I had, I all right." So hear me out. Like hear me somebody out. farted and shit. I had an epiphany. <laughs> <laughs> That's had, vegan I, shit. I, I had an epiphany. <laughs> I thought about this and I was like, "All right, what if, what if this is leading to, all right?" So Daniel Bryan assumes that he saw this guy. But what if it really wasn't that dude, and it was that bald headed dude with the with the beard, and it was somebody that looked like him? And if you really think about it, like what wrestler looks like that guy? Ray Rowan. Lars Sullivan. No. Rowan. Tommaso Ciampa. Oh, oh my oh. God. No. Whatever, what, if, what if that's how they bring Ciampa into the SmackDown That'll story never line. happen. That's too cool. That is too cool to happen. But I love where your head Yo. is at. Hey. Hey. Yo, that's the way to bring him up. And remember, yes. Johnny. Johnny's coming up too. Yes. What if it was both of them? That's what I say. M- maybe he did Tommaso one thing. Johnny did the other thing. Exactly. Nah, but then let's be realistic. NXT is moving to USA. They're going live for two hours, and those are two of the big players. So, but I thought Johnny was saying goodbye. Yeah, it was a wrap. I think he did this one. So. Yeah. yeah. Did he I don't really? trust anybody. I don't trust him. I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> I thought you were saying chair shot of the week was the names for the fucking uh, uh, XFL. Oh <laughs> shit. Word. Nah, nah that chair shot of the week has to go to fucking Drake Maverick, bro. Not consummating his marriage. Oh shit, yo, that shit's sad, bro. This is uh, this That's is a where we, thing. this is where we we feel sad. Yo, that marriage right now. <laughs> but the reality is, though, folks, he's really married to her. So so you know, Raw right, and so the the SmackDown that, is happening line. on a weekly basis. That storyline nah. gotta go. That that shit's done already. So I mean, we got we got a few minutes to kill here. Let's 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 talk about. The state of wrestling, real quick, man. Let's talk about um these Wednesday night wars. Let's talk about Wednesday nights, yo. What are we gonna be doing? You know, we got the night off. The company, listen, the company blessed us with a listen, night off. Listen, this is what I'm gonna tell you. This is what I'm gonna tell you. I remember time when I would come home from football practice, right, as a kid, tired as shit on a Monday, but nothing would get me too tired. 
to take the shower, scarf on my food, get ready for fucking eight o'clock. USA Network. USA Network, TNT, going back and forth. Yep. That last recall button was erased, bro. Yeah, hell, for real. Due to that Monday Night Wars experience. Would, would Nitro start at 8 and Rod 9? 7.57. So back so in the day, say, yeah. They gave them three minutes earlier so that the pyro would go off. They was a three-hour show, yo. Yep. So Nitro? Yeah, Nitro man. was three hours. But it was a great time, bro. It's a great time. And we're about to do the same now. So how are y'all going to watch this? How are you going to experience this? I know for me, I'm going to have popcorn. Popcorn? Co- TV popcorn still snacks picture picture? ready. Ah, they do. It's just a little more complicated, especially when you have like unplugged and shit. So but they do. I that definitely got to have something on my phone or something Two on screens. my TV. Two screens. And we'll alternate, I guess. If I get a phone call, maybe have a tablet. See, yeah. we, this is beautiful now because now we, we're ready for this. We're prepared for this. The old veterans, the OGs like us, so us podcast head, all us podcast fiends and shit, our hardcore wrestling fans, we ready and we have the tools to fucking <laughs> to watch <laughs> double thing, multiple. Yeah, shows. but there's a difference though. You lose engagement, right? Uh, because yeah. before yeah. when you had to switch to the channel, you were invested in what you were watching, right? What was that we're we're AEW that AEW did at the same time with NXT? No, no, no! Oh, it was, uh, it, was uh, evolve. it was a fight for the fallen with evolve. That evolve. was rough a little. To I it had, I literally it. had two different. Um, yeah, I wasn't used to it side anymore. By side. It was like, tough. It's you know? not. It's not easy. It's you gotta get easy. used to it. I mean, it's part of life, though. Especially now, you know, football season is about to start. Hey, NFL! Shout out to the baseball HPC, about to be the playoffs. HPC NFL fantasy league yes, that we yes, doing yes. wrestling theme. So yo, dame have, mi cuarto. We have a bunch uh, of. You know what I mean? Basketball is coming up soon at some point, yeah, right? Yeah. It, it's what we're used Woo! to in today's world. But two wrestling shows at once. That's going to be interesting, yo. guys. I'm ready. And then basketball be- season. Be- be- beverage of choice while you're watching? Um, Corona. Corona? Yeah. All right. Anybody else? Coroncita. I think a beer is, will suffice on a, yeah. on a nice Wednesday, right? Yeah. Middle of the week. Pizza. What about for us iced tea drinkers? Ooh. Uh, you got My some hard iced tea. Pure Leaf. Mike's hard, li- <laughs> Mike's hard iced tea. Yeah, the iced tea. The, the, the oh, something's tea. harder, right? Hey, hey, where are your pits? So, yeah. So, yo, we have these wars about to commence. We, like, WWE just fucking, they cemented their fo- foot in a race that we've been talking about. But they, they solidified it with this move, right? Not only to, 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 to syndicate it on cable, but to USA. That's big money moves, right? Hey, there. they're hey, getting a million per episode. So we got we're a million already. dollars per episode, right? Is it is it a million? Or I think it's fifty, isn't it fifty? Or or they um, I believe it's a million per episode. Is it? Why They already divided now. How we how we yeah. how's that gonna how's that gonna go now? I, I, my 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 thing I'm questioning is 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 this still gonna be in full sale? Yeah, I think. Well, well I don't know uh, if every week is going to be yeah. full. Well, from they, from they've done touring before. from what I've heard, so is it going to become what I touring? Or? From what I've heard, the first couple of months might be in full sale. Okay, that's fair. And then from I there would like on. that. Listen, I, I wouldn't listen, mind it, it NXT, always being in full sale. NXT it saves money. It's safe. I mean, for, for who? It's food? just it's just a, it's just a smaller audience. They got money. Because it is a small it, audience, but it, then but you also get consistent. that old, you get that old ECW Hammerstein ballroom feel. That's that's and what now I'm it's say. authenticity that you they, can build. They have, they run no risk of not filling it up. Right, right. right. But I was gonna say, forget about ECW. You're going back to the NWA, who's trying to do the same thing. NWA is trying to do studio wrestling. This again. is true. This is true. And really, the WWE, they don't really need to be in a fancy. But what I mean, I, don't, I know it doesn't make sense to all right, digress. What, all right. You get more. You try to get more butts in the seat, more and more but, profit. But if you think about it, if NXT stays in full sale with that smaller crowd, what's going to look like the bigger product? Because AEW is going to do... Cr- Everywhere. State, yeah. yeah, they're going to do arenas with yeah. like 10,000 It only makes seats. sense to go, gonna have to. go into... It's going to become a takeover. It's, it's, it's own promotion. It's, it's own brand. It's, a, it's a, I think, a matter of production, though. Because there are, there are independent shows that will pull off the same type of crowd that NXT has, but it looks like three people are in the arena. This is true. This is true. But that's what I'm saying. It depends on where you're at. Right? What stars do you think will break out early, yo? Mm-hmm. Kenny Omega. All eyes are going to be on him, I think, right away. And well, with I mean, good reason, because he's the quote-unquote best in the world, best wrestler alive today. He's the Jordan. So now he's gonna. the Jordan will be on TV now every week. He's going to be... Having the responsibilities of The Rock and Stone Cold to lead the company, lead the team, and be on the mic, be so, on the be on the, the entertainment side of things. So who is he going up against then? 
Uh, I think he's running with Moxley at, at all, no, out. At all, all out. out. I'm saying, yeah. but I'm saying like in cross promotion, right? Because because the one thing you had at that time, you had you know NWO, right? Mm-hmm. But then you had Stone Cold, you had Brett, right? You had uh, The Rock, Shawn Michaels. Oh, you mean like who countered who? So who who? Oh, that like was right. So, so who's gonna be the main Omega. players? So you mentioned Kenny Omega. Right, you gotta mention Cody. You gotta mention, you know. The all right, so Lee, Lee. all right, so if you think if you if you Lee put Lee it if you down. put it that way, then you'll have like, all right, so AEW you have Cody, you have Kenny, you have Cody, you have Kenny, you have the Young Bucks, right? And a in NXT you have Tommaso Ciampa, Johnny Gargano, Adam Cole, okay, Bay Bay. off the back, which yeah. I think Johnny's well, who, gone. But who are your baby faces? Johnny. Yeah, oh, don't, oh, wait, wait, don't forget the Velveteen Dream. Velveteen Dream will play a Dream. good anti-hero, right? Matt and Riddle is be the face, the number one face of the NXT. What about and for AEW? And then and AEW undisputed, Omega. undisputed Era tag tag team, right? Then you got yeah, profits. Then you got the Elite, and then you got Undisputed Era. That okay. works. That works, right? Yeah. Uh, women's, I would say NXT, a little bit more solidified than uh, <laughs> AEW right now. Oh, for women, um, right. For women, Adam Cole's girl, Britt uh, Baker. Britt, Britt Baker, Baker. Um, definitely. Cody's girl is gonna make herself Randy, Randy. Um, Nyla Rose. Jazz just signed up Jazz. to that uh, to that battle Jazz, royal. But Jazz, I think, is more of a, a, a ratings grab. Who? Awesome Kong. Awesome, awesome, awesome Kong, Kong is Kong. also like I feel like a ratings right. grab. Yeah, but I, mean, um, I feel like NXT got them beat on that end, probably, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I just yo, like the Lucha Brothers. The Lucha Brothers is a big one. Big time. Big one. Big role they're gonna play for AEW. I feel like I feel like that's what NXT is lacking in right now. Tag Fact teams, tag, tag teams is a little light teams. right now. It's and then, and then you think about it, LAX you know why? might go to LAX might go to AEW yeah. debut this Saturday. Well, I mean, next Saturday. The out. reason behind that is because they or push or all they the tag or they up. save them for that first episode on TNT, and those could be Chris Jericho's mystery. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that's not for, right. Partners. That's that's I thought it's that was TNT happening on all October. October. S- what is this? October fifth. And because, Washington, uh, SmackDown shout out to Royal fourth. Money will be out there as well. The fourth, no, so, so second, 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 because it's a Wednesday, right? It's the second. The fifth, the fourth is a Friday. Okay, which is the twentieth anniversary of yeah, SmackDown. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Yo, I mean, what I have, what I, what I believe is that there will be more talent coming to NXT now. I mean, it's two hours now; they have to put people to shine. But yeah. remember, they pulled up so many tag teams early. That is where you're at. Right, no doubt. They shot their fucking load very quickly. Hey, right, and l- l- let's not forget the street profits are pretty much on the main card. Yeah, right. But they're gonna le- they're gonna keep them with the tag. Well, that's why I think that you should now. All right, so now if NXT isn't a a, a call up card anymore, now they're saying that it's equivalent to Raw and SmackDown, right? Why don't you bring tag teams that you're not using in your rosters and bring them to NXT, bring them over to NXT, and use them like that? You got AOP. Yeah. Bring back there's the, something wrong bring with back them, the Viking Listen, Raiders. There's gotta so, be a reason why we're not bring, watching. Them. You could bring back the Ascension. Fashion uh, yo, every time the Ascension has come back, it's worked. Well, well they yo, brought back. Even they brought back the Fashion the Police fashion at NXT yeah, yeah, against yeah, some yeah. these guys. Yeah. So yeah. Right, right. recently it was last week. Uh, yeah. So um, um, you so could it's even already happening. You could even that was a real good move. You could even bring back the B team. Yeah. 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 Like these tag teams aren't doing shit. Yeah, might as well. Oh, bring back our Zach Ryder and Kurt Hawkins. Yeah. It's yeah. terrible though, but I mean, they're not. You don't have a division. And, like you look at you look you though you have the talent, but you're looking as bad as the women's tag team division. Ooh, Jesus! But Oof. you have the talent. So AEW, make sure not to make a women's tag team division. Hey, you already know. <laughs> no, it, it comes down to having the talent, right? I and, mean, not uh, right away. You, you need yeah, to fill need up to your build. roster. Right. I mean, the women's division. Not Who's even um AEW's first heavyweight champion, yo? Isn't it Adam Page? Adam Page. Adam Page. Yeah. Adam Page. Oh, right? I, I, so, I, so who's or, who's or who's or the ease Adam Page? Chase, huh? Uh, or you have the that? Adam yeah, that's what Jericho. I was gonna say. It's like Jericho wins, and then you have Adam Chase, and he wins it on TNT. Adam Chase, baby. So who who's the WWE's uh, Adam Page? Huh? Adam Hangman Page. NXT's. Uh, uh, NXT's. NXT's. Sorry, NXT's Adam's Velveteen oh, Velveteen Dream. Dream. Yeah, I can see that. Velveteen. I can see that. That's a good. That's Velveteen a good. Velveteen uh, is next. Or man. he's or, next. Or, 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 or. I would or. put Riddle in there. Bro. Pete Dunn. Oh, Pete Dunn. Oh, Pete Dunn. Pete motherfucking Dunn, who now yeah. is on NXT, not NXT UK. Woo! I yeah. feel like Pete Dunn's going to be their, like, anti-hero. Yeah, case. I can see that. I, I can like see, see him fuck shit up. I can see that. Real talk. But Velveteen, Matt Riddle, 
Yo, and did we also forget I about just feel who? Like Matt has a lot of heat. Did we also forget about who could be making their their AEW debut uh, at All Out that we haven't seen them there yet? No, Pac. Oh, nah, the bastard. Oh. I think those days are done, bro. I think they had they left the sour well, taste in his mouth. Well, you know what time. days are coming? NXT Theory. Oh, yeah. Austin Theory. Austin Theory NXT. will be making his way to I NXT. Can see him, I can see him get to that North American Championship really quick. That's going to be a name you'll be We're seeing be weekly on television. Oh, so. my. That's a big one. When that's a ta- nice chip to play. Well, show. speaking about title opportunities, that's didn't different. didn't Jordan Miles just cash in? That's yes. right. That's right. How do we miss that on NXT? Baby. Talk about, yo. Jordan Miles Jordan cashing Miles. in on Adam Cole, baby. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this shit. You're going to lose, baby. I feel like he shot a shot too soon. I just don't yeah. see it. I, I feel like it was one of those quick pops. To like get his face known, yeah. so that when he does show up at uh, NXT in USA, like he's a, it's he's a bigger a name. name. And you gotta big make name. Adam stretch this reign. I now. just, I just feel stretch also like at the end of the day, though, like it's he hasn't like, done enough. Yeah, right. And, 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 Speaking and, and, about enough, that don't God damn it, yeah. we don't care wow. where you got your fix from. You know, we getting it any each and way how oh. this week. Uh, you can check all those stitchers and all the ladies and gentlemen. Here. Find us well, where podcast you area can find platforms. us on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, oh, yeah. TuneIn, oh, yeah. iHeartRadio, oh, yeah. or our website, or our website, HeelsPopsChairShots.com. Put some swag too at Pro Wrestling Tees. Too sweet. Yes, on Twitter, on Instagram. Make sure to purchase our T-shirt, our merchandise. We got we got merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com. Come, <laughs> Come ready. Chair shots. Come ready to our viewing party on Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Saturday. August 21st. All out. All out. Come with our merchandise. We'll baby buy you a round of drinks. Grab the shirt. Get a shot. And right. most importantly, don't forget to rate and review. What you want them to do? Rate and review. That's a, that's and a if lot, you're man. Checking Mischief, a- Mischief told me to ask you. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> and if you're checking us out on YouTube. Oh, YouTube. And YouTube. And forget, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Too sweet that subscribe <laughs> Too button. Too sweet it. Ten count and ten toe. Hey.